Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Today, I am going to be doing some pulls on the new Aerith banner. I currently have the weapon at OB1, and I currently have 560 Aerith weapon parts, meaning that after a few pulls, more or less, I should probably fill in that last 40 weapon parts with Bahamut Rod parts, meaning I could more or less toss in three OB levels just with Aerith-specific weapon parts. So technically, as of right now, I would have OB 2, 3, 4, right? So I'm really close to getting this weapon OB 6 right off the bat, but if I can save some Aerith weapon parts, I would love to do that, guys. All right, so that being said... Let's jump over to the banner itself here, guys. All right. And I'm going to be doing some pulls. In my first two videos, I did, you know, a set of three pulls and got to stamp six. In my to pull or not to pull video, I did two pulls and got to stamp 11. And now the costume is in range. Now with the second page, I'm just trying to get maybe, you know, if I'm at OB1 right now, right? And I got two copies, that'd be OB3. And that would put me within range of OB6, right? So I'm probably just looking to get like two copies. So I'm not trying to go super far into this yet. I want to save at least, you know, around 50k or so. I'm still willing to buy like maybe one more crystal boost pack, which will put me in good standing. But yeah, that being said, guys, hopefully I get some good luck. I did get the Genji Blade so, 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 so amped on that. And hopefully, I've, I've also had some pretty decent luck on my uh, wish list so far. So that being said, I'm just going to jump into this. Hopefully, the luck continues here, guys. We get something good. This is going to be a one. It's a two. All right, I'll take the two. I'll take the two. Honestly, I'm really excited. Aerith looks super cool. I prefer her as my healer to Matt just because she's nostalgic. It's Aerith. She's one of the Cetra. She's just like one of the most amazing human beings on the planet right and so i'm just super amped on it now the trick is how to get the best out of these banners with spending the least all right and i think the key is to just have insanely good luck all right so that's what i'm going to try and channel here today <laughs> absolutely terrible come on cloud you can still pull through 999 critical, but I don't think we got anything there. All right. So not exactly off to the greatest start, but we did get the costume. So in another sense, also off to a great start. All right. Super psyched on that. Cannot wait to put that on and use it. On top of that, we got a bunch of these Bahamut rods right here. A bunch of four star or no, a bunch of three stars. All right. So I'm just going to go straight into the next pull right here. I'm going to be kind of mindful of my crystals right now right i'm trying to get like two more copies of this weapon there's a guaranteed one right here so i'm one step away from a guaranteed one so i really just need like one copy of the weapon to drop potentially two two would be even better that would put me in much better standing with conserving my weapon parts but that's just part of the game right just like trying to figure out where you can spend the crystals where you need to save them etc 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 all right so we're not going to let Cloud do his whole walkout this time. We're just going to skip through, and hopefully we got something. There's one. Was it Aerith? It's Zack. All right, so that's Pressured Ridge. Hopefully it's Pressured Ridge. And it is. I'm pretty sure that's like OB3 or OB4 for that. All right, so I'm just going to roll straight into the next pull. This one is going to be a guaranteed of the weapon. Now, I'm just hoping that we get two of them here. All right, there's the double stamp right there. Two stamps, we're almost at the five-star guaranteed, so we're in pretty good standing overall on the banner. Um, we just need to get just, just a little fringe, a pang of luck right here, guys. We need something. I'm going to have them look left. Come on, Cloud. Come on. Come on. Okay, there's, the, there's, there's one, right? I'm looking for one more at a minimum, all right? Okay, cool. Let's check how many parts that we have for this stuff right now. All right, and then we could also drop the 5K on one of those packs. All right, so Bahamut Rod at 515 parts right now. After base 5-star, that's like almost OB3. Okay, so time to go for another pull right here. Hopefully, we get some good stamps. I have not gotten anything but yellow chocobos so far, guys. Only freaking yellow chocobos. And a 1. <sighs> Hopefully that it's not starting to go downhill. 5-star or higher guaranteed. 
Let's get some freaking luck right now. Onegaishimasu. Onegaishimasu. All right, so cloud looking left did not work, which means we're going to have to switch up our strategy here to confuse and distract Applebot. All right. What? Oh, God, it was not it. All right, so we got, we got Zach. I'm guessing that's another pressured ridge right there. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's take a step back. Let's evaluate here for a second. How many freaking stamps am I away from the next one? Um, two stamps away. All right, so that seems like a good thing to shoot for. I just want to jump over and check my weapons right here just to make sure that I'm not overdoing it on the pressured ridge. Oh my gosh, how am I going to even find this weapon? I'm forgetting so many weapons. I can't even imagine this game after like three years, guys. It's just going to be like endless scrolling to find your weapons. All right, so there is the pressured ridge. Holy smokes. Do I have enough to OB6 it literally right now? I need 800 more. Oh my god, I literally have exactly enough. Okay, so I can take the pressured ridge off of my wish list now that it is there. All right, so now I'm going to jump back over here. and We are going to take one quick moment so that I can upgrade that weapon. All right, so I think there's honestly, it's like kind of thinning down to the weapons that I would really like to build here. Ivy Caller is a really really good choice it's either going to be ivy collar or it's going to be man it is very tricky i could go to take the kiron to level ob10 or the flower vase right here this is a really good weapon i feel like the r abilities are so solid on this 62 39 that's really solid okay so i already have a met i think i'm honestly just going to go with the ivy collar guys is this it right here yeah this is it right here. This is a solid weapon as well. All right, so I'm just going to set that. I'm going to I'm just going to pray that this next poll is the poll, guys. All right? If we get two stamps and one more copy of the weapon, I'm good. That's going to put me Come on, two. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Out of all the luck we've had so far, if I was going to get some weapon luck, this would be the draw, guys. This would be the draw, okay? And I know that it's possible that you could pull like 10 of these weapons, right? So what's the harm in asking for like seven, right? So, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, Cloud, we're gonna let him walk out. We're gonna let, we're gonna let him do his thing, all right? We're gonna let him do his thing. We're gonna take out the other eye this time. Come on, Cloud. Come on, Cloud. Come on, Cloud. Come on, let's go. Okay, Whew. halfway there, halfway there. Maintain the cool, zen it out. All right, this is it, guys. This is when we get those seven Bahamut rods. All in one go, all right? Come on, one, two, both there it. Let's go, <laughs> come on. Now they both have to be Bahamut's rods, all right? Yes, we somehow, somehow, guys, we freaking did it. And I'm pretty sure I don't have to buy one of those 5k packs. And I think I'm done on the banner. All right. 43k, 2.8k paid. Still can get a bundle. Looking like by the time Tifa drops, around 55 to 60,000. Super solid. Absolutely. Super, super, super amped. All right. So let's go over here and let's check out this weapon. Where is it? There she is right there. All right. And I'm just going to start over boosting and basically see where we're at on this weapon right here. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do any more pulls on the Aerith banner. Um, I'll probably just use weapon parts, to be honest. Uh, and then I could always get the 3K Aerith pack for like the extra 100 parts. Um, so it looks like we got it to OB4. Okay, and then we have 130 parts right there. So if I drop the 70 right here. All right, that's going to take us to OB5. And then I have 492 parts left over. If I did get that 3K pack, I'd be almost at 600. So honestly, guys, I'm just going to leave it right there. 
I'm the type of person who actually enjoys playing a weapon. Like let's like right now I could take this weapon to OB6, but I'm going to play with this weapon for at least a few days pre OB6 just because I enjoy playing each of the different levels of the weapon. If I actually didn't do those overboosts right now, I would have kept it at, at base five star just to kind of test it out. Um, but yeah, that being said, I'm just going to leave that right there where it is. Thank you guys for sending me such good luck in that video. I hope you guys get, you know, much better luck. Actually, I hope one of you out there gets the seven Bahamut rods or even better eight. Um, but yeah, that being said, if you guys enjoyed this pity, this, pity, <laughs> this video today, Please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis content. I will catch you guys on the next one. Hope you all have a wonderful night. Take care and peace.